So recently, I spent some time at the ocean with my dog, Happy, and as I was sitting on the sand with Happy on my lap, I was just watching the ebb and flow of the waves as the waves come in and as the waves go back out. And I was just feeling so present with that moment, present with the ocean, present with the sky, present with the birds, present with the sand, present with the sun. I felt this sense of love energy just overcoming me, touching every cell, every tissue, every organ in my body. God's unconditional love just running through me. And that feeling was so overwhelming. The feeling of that love energy was so overwhelming that tears started to drip down my face because I felt that unconditional love. So as I grew older, my definition of love changed and evolved. In my 20s and 30s, I was always looking for love outside of me, looking for that partner that could come into my life to make me happy. And then I would live happily ever after. And so, as I grew older and hopefully more wiser, and I became more connected to my spirituality, I deepened my spiritual practice more and more and became more closer to God, became more closer to the divine energies of the universe. I was looking less and less for the love outside of me. I was looking less and less for other people to give me that love because I was feeling more love within myself that's coming from the grace of God. I realized that I was looking for love in all of the wrong places in my 20s and 30s, that I was looking for love outside of me when love all along was right here within me that love of God that I could tap into, access right here, right now, that love that God has graced upon me and all of us. So the secret to love is not to look outside of you, but to look within, because the grace of God will always provide you with that unconditional eternal love. So I always say, and this is science, that the entire universe, including our body and our mind, this planet, everything in this universe is made up of energy with this vibrational frequency. And this energy with vibrational frequency in here has information. There's consciousness here. There's intelligent awareness that knows how to organize everything in this universe. So it's a energy with a conscious awareness. And so if everything is made up of this vibrational frequency in this universe, including our bodies, and these vibrational frequencies have different levels. There's low vibrational frequency, there's high vibrational frequency, but in order for physical matter to manifest, to come to be, including our bodies, which is considered a physical form, physical matter, the vibrational frequency of this energy has to be at the highest level. It has to be so powerful, so high, that now this non-physical energy turns into physical form and matter. And so, when we talk about the highest form of vibrational frequency, that is what we're talking about when we say love. Love is really the highest vibrational frequency that there is. And so when you have disease, disease is a low vibrational frequency. Love is the highest vibrational frequency. So I always say that love is one of the best medicine. Love heals because it's the highest vibrational frequency and highest vibrational frequency is health, it's love, it's compassion, it's abundance. 
So if everything in this universe, including our bodies, our minds, our thoughts are made up of this vibrational frequency, this love vibrational frequency, we are already love, right? Cause we are made up of that love energy. So the truth of who we are is really love, pure, positive energy of love and God. That's what I always say. That is the truth of who we are. So when we peel away the ego level, the personality level of who we think we are, the thoughts that we have, when we peel away that layer of ego, we are truly pure, positive energy of love. That is the truth of who we are. So when you have fallen in love with somebody, like this woman has fallen in love with this man, I am in love. What you're really saying is that this man was the doorway. He turned the key to the doorway to the love that already existed within you. He turned the key to the doorway to the love that is already within you because you are made up of love energy. That's who you are. That's the truth of who you are. So he was essentially the catalyst that opened the doorway to the love that you already have within you. That's what love really is. It's not that you didn't have love in your life. It's that somebody was a catalyst for allowing you to open yourself to the love that's already within you. So other things in your life can serve as a catalyst to finding, to tapping into that love that is already within you. So when I was sitting on the sand at the ocean and watching the ebb and flow of the waves, the perfection of nature allowed me to tap into the love that is already within me, which is why I had that over feeling energy of God's love run through my body and thus the tears on my face. Or if you watch a sunset or a sunrise and that view is so beautiful, that is also the catalyst to open the doorway to the love within you. Or it could be your pet, your animal, or a baby smile. That also serves as a catalyst for opening the door of love that is already within you. Or it could be an object that you absolutely love. Maybe it's a car and you have fallen in love with that car. That car was also a catalyst for opening that door to the love that already exists within you. So what's happening for most of us is that we're really looking for love in the wrong places. We're looking for love in the wrong places. So the secret to love is really connecting with and tapping into the love that already exists within you by the grace of God. So the way we could nurture and cultivate and be connected more and more to the love within us is to be really present in the now. As you become really present in this moment, you can start to feel the divine energies within you and around you because you're connecting to those powerful energies. And as you keep connecting to those powerful energies, you can feel it. And that's why a lot of times during my meditations, I just feel that unconditional love. You know, oftentimes I start to tear during my meditation because as I become fully present in this moment, I can feel the presence of God. I can feel the presence of my spirit guides. I could feel the presence of my late sister's son. I could feel the presence of that unconditional energy of love. And so this is why, you know, it's so important for me to live more and more in the present moment, 
more and more in the present moment because I'm really connecting to the love that already exists within me and around me. And so if you're looking for love, don't look outside of you. Cultivate, nurture the love that's already within you by living fully present in the now, by doing meditations, by taking time for yourself to have that peace and quiet. It could also be like a hike in the park. It could be reading a book. Whatever allows you to be more present in the now, that is what is gonna allow you to cultivate and nurture that love within you more and more. And you're going to look less and less for love outside of you. And I guarantee you, when you have more love within you, you will organically find that outside love. That outside love will naturally and organically come into your life. So, <laughs> so let me know the different ways that you are looking for love or that you are cultivating love within yourself because your comments, feedback, and suggestions and stories and experiences really help me and my community at large. And if you like this video, please make sure to share it and subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna visit all of my spiritual and holistic living tips, just go to my website at yinandyangliving.com. Thank you, namaste.